Welcome to another Digital Ventures Let's Build. We are going to be creating a Fall Guys mini game today in Scratch. The game we're going to be making is Hexagon, which is a game where you have a bunch of panels uh, floating and you need to jump between them. And when you jump on one, after one second, it falls down um, to the ground. And if you're the last one up, uh, you win or you move on. So for us to accomplish this game, uh, we need to kind of think of it in 2D. So I think the best way to do that is going to be creating a character um, who starts at the top here and moves downward. Um, through the different levels of the panels or uh, the hexagons. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and delete my cat and just draw a fall guy. So I'll go ahead and zoom in. This will be a very small character so that I have more space uh, in my game. I'm going to convert it to bitmap so it's a little easier to draw just with the paintbrush tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw our fall guy. He's going to have some wristbands again. And we'll give him some shorts here. Whoops. Fix that and give him some simple boots. <laughs> Very small. And let's give him arms. And we also need to make sure we do the face, which is a circle like this with two very small dots for eyes. And let's fill this color in. I'm just playing around with these uh, color settings till I can find a color I want. Let's go with this green. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. That's my fall guy. I'm going to name him over here where it says sprite one. I'm going to re rename it to fall guy. And we're going to go to the code. So we have a fall guy. And for this game to work, we will need at least one panel created. Um, and then what we're going to do later is clone the panel so we don't have to re uh, design it every time. So recode it every time. So we're going to create one panel, do all of the coding and then use uh, cloning to make a bunch of them all across. Uh, let's just draw that right now. Very quickly, I'll just go and draw a panel. We're not going to do hexagons because we're looking at them from the side. I'll make sure it's in the middle. We'll call it a uh, panel. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll write, do the correct color. We'll do orange because that's the color of the panels. Okay, and then the goal here is he's going to fall onto this, the panel is going to turn a different color, and then it's going to uh, fall out of the sky. Um, let's see, do the panels disappear? I think they just disappear, actually. They turn white and then disappear, so they don't fall. It's good to know, so <laughs> make sure not to do that. Okay. First thing we need to do is create some gravity for this uh, fall guy. Whenever he hits a panel sprite, he needs to uh, stop falling, right? So we're going to start off with a green, one green flag clicked. I'll zoom in. For gravity to work, um, he's always going to have gravity affecting him. Uh, and the way we do that is just a forever block. And then if he is touching a panel, he's not going to move down, but if he, or sorry, he is going to move down. If he touches a panel, he moves down. Otherwise, he'll just stay put. So we're going to try that. We'll do change y by if control touching, so sensing. Sorry, I did that a little out of order. If touching a panel, change y by from the motion blocks. We'll do a minus 10 here. Um, so he falls 
Oopsies, that's wrong. Other way. There we go. So as you can see, I, I pressed the green flag up here. Oh, I can't move them. Whoops. Let's do put them up here. I'll do full screen. He falls down. Great, but he can't jump or move, so we're going to have to fix that. Um, I'm also going to make sure my character starts up here, uh, which is about these numbers, and I can go into motion and grab a go to block, which will just use the numbers, uh, the coordinates of where he currently is. And then you can round them if you want to like minus 200 and uh, 150, just so they're easier numbers to remember. So every time I press the green flag, he'll fall down and land onto a panel. Minus 10 seems a little harsh. Let's do minus five. Oh, perfect. Now, if we're touching a panel, what we should be allowed to do is jump. So if I'm going to press, um, so let's see, if I'm touching a panel and if I'm also doing a key up arrow, we're gonna use up arrow to jump. We are going to do a, a simple jump here. I'm gonna just go ahead and say something like, uh, hmm, what's an easy jump? We'll do a repeat 10 and we'll do change y by three. Let's see how that works. That's not bad. That's the jump I have right now. And that'll get you pretty far. Um, so repeat 10 and change y by three will move you up 30 pixels um, and over the course of 10 loops. So it'll take them a little bit of time to get up there. If I used, uh, let's say 50, he'll move far, way farther, but at the same pace. If I did three and 30, you'll see him just fly in the sky really fast. So you can play with these numbers to see what what kind of jump you want. I think 10 and three are good though. Moving on, so we have jumping. Let's do uh, left and right movement because we will need to jump to uh, panels. When green flag clicked, we're gonna start a new block a thread of code here. Forever, because we always wanna be allowed to move and we'll have left and right movement. So two if statements, if key right arrow is pressed and key, whoops, I don't want to comment. <laughs> and key left arrow pressed. I did a little trick there, right clicking, duplicating, and then I just changed it to left arrow. Also, when you uh, plug these in, make sure you plug them in on the left side. It's just a lot easier because if I tried to plug it in like this, it won't work or even in the middle, it just doesn't work that well. I always like to grab them from the left and they snap in a little bit better. Let's see, uh, yeah, movement. So movement, we're gonna use uh, the X coordinate because X is the left and right, as you can see, left and right, and there's a little X. Oh, maybe you can't see, it's a little small on my screen, but there's a left and right arrow with a little X. Uh, to the right is going to be, uh, let's do five. I will duplicate that, move it to the bottom, and I'll do minus five. So now our statement is saying if forever and ever throughout the game, if the right key arrow is pressed, then we will change our character's X position by five, meaning he's gonna move to the right by five points or pixels. And uh, if you're not doing that, it'll check and see if your left arrow is being pressed where it will do a minus five move, which is to the left. Okay, so far so good. I got jumping, moving, fall guy. Uh, excellent. Next step, programming the panel. Let's go ahead and use an event block. So I've clicked into the panel and I'm inside of the code. When green flag clicked. Um, so we're gonna be creating many panels and when we clone, what I like to do is hide the first original panel so that it doesn't interrupt or doesn't um, get in the way of the other cloned panels. It gets kind of tricky 
if you uh, show the original and clone a bunch of other ones. So this is this might get pretty tough, but if we hide the original one, uh, this will be, I guess, the starting spot. We are going to forever. Nope, that's wrong. Repeat 10. How many across do you think this is? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six across. So six times we'll repeat something. And we're going to repeat something called create clone of myself. And that creates six clones. Now the problem is these clones start off hidden because I hid the original one. So what we need to do is make sure we use a when I start as clone and a show. Now it doesn't seem like anything happened, but there should be six. Uh, well, there's seven. Oh, six. Yeah, there's six panels that all appear in the same spot. That's not great. Uh, what we want to do is spread them out. We can do that inside of here. After we create a clone, we can move it with a change X by. And then we have to kind of figure out how wide our panels are going to be. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to guess here and say they're about 40 pixels wide. So, oop, that was wrong. So the panels aren't spread out enough for me. Let's try 80. Well, that's also wrong. Um, so the original panel is now like flying off the side here. So I have to bring it back. And the way I can do that is uh, a go to block here. We'll start off with the X of 20. A y of 75 is fine, I guess. Oh, x of 20 is right here, so I need to go f way farther over. Let's do minus 160, well, minus 200. I think that's a better number. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much perfect. Now we have all these panels, and you can kind of walk across them as well, which is nice. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, now, now that the panels are being cloned, and we have them, plenty of them, what we can do is write the code for what happens when our fall guy jumps on them, which isn't too hard. We are now going to say wait until, so when a clone gets created, you it will wait until um, fall guy touches him. So until it's touching fall guy. So when I start as clone, uh, the panel will show up and it's already been cloned and moved because we moved it earlier. Then we're going to go to looks and we're going to say set color effect. We're going to do brightness because it needs to turn white to just a thousand. I don't know. I think that's fine. Oh, that's actually not good because <laughs> It'll turn white and you can't see it. There we go, 50 is good. So it turns bright, and then we need it to disappear after one second. So I can use a wait one second block from control, and finally a delete this clone that's also from control. One second goes by and it falls and you lose. Okay, so then I can go ahead and jump between these and then it will fall. And I will need to probably create more of these, more layers of these panels, right? I need some underneath. And the way I can do that is uh, where this repeat block is. After it does the six panels, I can send it back to the beginning minus 200, so I'll send it back to minus 200, I'll, so the uh, the panel that's cloning and moving comes back over to here, but then I want to move it down. Instead of 75, I can say 0, and then I'm going to do this exact same code, because, oh no, <laughs> so now what it's going to do is it creates all these, it te teleports the panel back to here, and then creates six more 80 apart. All right, and we're gonna move one more down. I'm gonna clone all these again. So it teleports back, minus 200. This time I'll do um, minus 75. 
and that should create my three layers of panels. So as you can see, oh no, and I lose. Okay, so that's pretty much the game. Let's see if I can add um, a little bit of code for what happens when you reach the bottom, like a you lose. So fall guy, we'll go back to him. Once sprite clicked, we'll start a new code thread somewhere else. Block of code. Uh, when green flag clicked, we can wait until, and we can say, there's two ways to do this. The right way is to use a, um, a less than block. Operators less than. You could also say touching edge, but then you would lose if you hit an edge over here, which isn't great. Um, so we're going to say less than uh, minus 170, which is about the bottom. One minus 180 is the bottom, but sometimes your characters don't quite reach that number. It's a little too low. So in this first portion, we'll need to grab. Oh, it's in motion. Uh, y position. So if the Y position of Fall Guy is less than minus 170. So it would be uh, from about here. This is minus 174. About here and downward, we are going to lose. So we're going to just have Fall Guy say eliminated. And then I can go ahead and test it. Let's go to full screen for this. So if you're very skilled, you'll probably be able to get all of the hexagons eliminated. Okay. There you go. That's our let's build for today. Uh, hexagon. Um, Fall Guys minigame created in Scratch. Uh, I hope that you guys can try this out and maybe add a second character who uses the WASD keys for movement. And then you might be able to play against somebody. So maybe try that out. Um, and you can always go back and watch this video again to get all of the code. Thank you for joining this week. I will uh, see you next time.